Hello guys, have you ever seen something like this in your login forms? So recently in one of our courses for roles and permissions, we had to check a lot of roles with different permissions. In the course, we have an Excel sheet like this. So we have six roles with different features and it was pretty annoying to test. Login, log out, test one feature, another feature with different emails. So in this video, I will demonstrate you a package called Spotty Laravel Login Link to implement this one with just a few lines of code. So here's how it works. I just click login as a user and I'm in without any email and password. And important note, you need to implement that only on your local environment. Otherwise it may be a security issue, but the way it works, so you log out, log in again, then you click another user which has different permissions and so on. So it makes it a breeze to test the features with different roles or users. Now the package is Spotty Laravel login link and it's very easy to install. So the readme is pretty quick. If you go to installation, it's just composer require. Optionally, you may publish config, but that is optional. Then a few configuration options. And the main thing is this. So wherever you want, typically in the login form in the blade, you put env local, which is very important. That's the thing I mentioned that it should be only on your local environment. You put login link, but then also you can define a few parameters to that blade component. So for example, x login link with specific email, which is exactly what we did in our project. So here's the login blade file, typical for Laravel breeze, but on top of default form, we have this five links with different emails with different labels and those emails come from our own database which we seeded in the user seeder we seeded specifically different roles using factory states with create email master admin owner and others as i mentioned there are a few more configuration options so you can read the full readme for example you can create new users on the fly instead of using the existing ones and so on I will link the package in the description below. What do you think? Have you used it in your projects? Or maybe you have some alternative for testing with different users and roles. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.